What's going on guys? In this video we're going to talk about Elixir and pattern matching, which is a cool concept in Elixir that's not only helped me understand Elixir a little better, but also understand other languages and like I've also learned how to think better because of it, I guess. Um, but anyway, if you're like used to Ruby or uh, uh, JavaScript, when you have something like a equals 12, you're assigning this value to the a variable. When you do the same thing in Elixir, it's the same operator, or it's the same equal sign. It does, it's not called the same, it doesn't do the same, obviously. When you do this, you're doing something very different to what you're doing when you're assigning up here. Uh, when this runs, this left side pattern is matched with whatever's on the right side. Now, uh, that's different than what's happening in JavaScript. And this is actually not a great example to demonstrate this. It's just using like a single variable. So let's open up a console here. And uh, we're gonna, you know, provide a different example. Let's do it with a tuple or a tuple to show how cool the match operator is. So we'll have something like animal and favorite car, animal, favorite animal, favorite car will be equals to a tuple, tuple, whatever. Uh, dolphins, I love dolphins. And uh, let's say it's a Fisker. It's my favorite car. Not really, but whatever. Cool cars. Um, so we're not assigning, we're pattern matching here. So we'll just make sure everything goes correctly. Now we've pattern matched animal and car. Uh, we've pattern matched these two tuples together. So each of these elements in this tuple have been matched with this one. Um, you'll notice if you try something like this um, with, with a tuple and they don't match, the tuples aren't maybe like the same length they won't match and you'll get an error. So you'll get something like animal. And if you have something like dolphin, and here you have, I don't know, mansion, you're gonna get an error. There's no match of right hand side value. Uh, well, one of these isn't, isn't matching, okay? So um, when you don't have two sides that, that match, you're gonna get an error. That's the gist of it. So you've got uh, two values over here, one variable over here, no match. Also, if you have something like color and um, Joe, and you try to pattern match that with something else like, I don't know, color can be blue, and but we're gonna try to pattern match Joe with Jessica, and we'll see what happens. Error, because obviously the string Joe and the string Jessica, they can't be matched. Uh, you can pattern match lists, so like A, B, C, typical example here, one, two, two, three, A, B, C, right? Uh, you can also do this cool thing with lists where you have a head and a tail, and the first element um, of the of the right hand side will be given to the, or will be matched with head, so we'll just do like one, and then two, three, four, five, six, and then the rest of the elements will be matched with tail. So we can just do head now and tail, and boom, you get the rest of the elements that were matched um, using the pipe operator, okay? So that's just this straight line thing. And um, you get uh, a list as the tail. So the really cool thing um, about pattern matching is that it works differently when some data structures. So in maps, if you have a map, all right, so remember how we talked about tuples talked about this one right here this won't work okay this will give you an error but when you use a map it's different you can say something like animal and we'll we'll just say animal we're gonna match whatever to animal and then um, we're gonna open up another map and we're gonna say uh, color blue and uh, we're gonna match something to animal so we'll say animal Let's say dolphin. Okay. Now you'll notice that on the left hand side we're not we don't have every element matching, but since this is a map, this works. You see that? So we'll do animal dolphin. Isn't that cool? So we're taking out this animal key, we're extracting it, and we don't actually need to match with this color key, which is pretty awesome. Um you can also use the underscore. So Oops, let me get to the middle of the page here. I don't know if this is big enough, whatever. Okay, so we're at the middle of the page now, and when you don't want to um, basically 
take out all of the, the values in like a tuple, for example, um, you can use an underscore. So you'll do underscore, whoops, let's do a couple underscores. And then here we'll say third. And we don't want a couple of the things, right? So we'll just say one, two, and three. And since we don't want the one and two elements, we can just use an underscore. We want to ignore them. And we want third. So now third will return three, or is matched to three. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about as far as pattern matching goes? Ooh, um, you've got the uh, that upper words caret. I think it's called a pin, this thing. And it was really cool when you don't want to um, rebind a variable. And because uh, sometimes when you do pattern matching, you rebind. I'll show that. But you can match against what's inside that variable. So I'll do something like animal dolphin. And then I'll say um, animal and color equals uh, cheetah. Whoops. Cheetah and uh, blue. Okay. Now, what do you think is going to happen? Now, watch this. We matched with um, we matched both sides, and now if I do animal, what do you think animal is going to be? Well, it's cheetah now because we rebounded essentially through the when the pattern match occurred. But sometimes we don't want to do that. Instead, we want to match against what's inside animal. So let me re rebind animal to dolphin, and then I'll do something like this. I'll do um, pin operator animal and then here we'll do the same color equals and then cheetah and blue and what do you think is going to happen here whoops I got a typo what do you think is going to happen here match error no match of right hand side value cheetah because what's inside of animal is dolphin so that would be pretty much the same as doing um, dolphin and color uh, we're asking these to pattern match and as you know we can't do that right so if you said this is going to give you an error you were absolutely correct the dolphin string obviously can't be matched with the cheetah string so those are just some pattern matching basics I think it's like a really cool concept I don't know a lot about it just starting to get into it um, check out the docs they're like really fun really good uh, I'll put it in the description but Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. I know this video was kind of all over the place, but I think um, I think if you read the documentation, you'll get a pretty good idea. And um, I hope it helped, and I'll see you guys in the next one.